hello and welcome once again today i'm going to do another cat and this time i've learned a bit from the last cat i did and so i'm going to do a bit more in details and i'm going to fix the mistakes i made in the last one so it is going to be a furry cat again and this time i'm going to do a gray and white one so i've rolled some uh, core wool into shape and I'm folding it down until it's fairly firm so it's just an oblong shape and uh, now I'm going to make the head to go with it <coughs> sorry I've got a bad throat So now they look all right, the head and the body together. Once I'm happy with the shape of the head and the body, I'm going to make the limbs. So for the limbs, I've taken a pipe cleaner, folded it in half, and I've cut it so I've got quarters. And <clears throat> for folding in the edges, so the sharp point doesn't stick out, I'm going to roll it in some wool. little strands of uh, coral wool slivers and then needle it down then I'm going to roll them between my palms so they are firm and these are going to be the legs so I've done two of them this makes the four legs I just folded them So we've got two pairs and it attached it to the body as you can see. I just folded the edges to make them look like legs. So I've got two two legs in from one quarter of it. And now I'm going to make the tail with the other quarter of the pipe cleaner. Rolling some wool over it, and then I'm going to attach it to the back side of the cat. Taking some more core wool because I have to make the the back side more rounded, and this will firmly put the tail in place. I'm going to attach some more wool to the tummy part and felt it down so all the limbs are secure and the cat looks a bit more fatter in shape. It is going to take quite a while to really make it firm and secure. So if you enjoy needle felting, you won't mind the time it takes. I'm bending the, the four legs to make paws. I'm 
Now I'm rolling some wool on the legs. And so I learned from the last cut I made that I should make the legs first and then attach the fur to it. So I'm going to make the little paws, the little extra wool on the paws, and then you can shape them. Just fell down little rounds and attach them to the legs. It is a bit difficult because they're too small but you can do it keep felting it down and they come into shape And just press them with your fingers and you'll get the four paws done. You are making the thighs, attaching some more coral wool, a round shape. This is all is gonna be covered with the, the fur I'm gonna give it at the end but still I want my cat to have a shape. Little roll around the four legs as well. So the pipe cleaner doesn't look like sticking out and forms the shape of the body. Now I'm making the shape of the head and the little muzzle of the cat, attaching it to the round head that I made and I give it shape with the needle of the nose and the little muzzle. I've attached little scraps of wool just to make the shape right and you can keep felting it until you're happy with the shape. Now I'm going to attach the eyes. It looks weird and funny at this point but it's going to be alright. I'm adding some more wool. To the head so the eyes go in
I watch loads of tutorials on YouTube and each one of them teaches you something new to add to your own crafts. So I'm just attaching some more wool until I'm happy with the shape. Now it looks little strands of light grey wool just around the eyes. I'm trying to make the eyes look better and not popping out. And I'm going to add the eyelids as well. I'm just giving it a bit of color. Now you can see that it does make a bit of a difference. She's got eyelids. I'm just cutting off the extra bits. This it is really small. It takes time and efforts to get it right. giving it a bit of grey colour little pink nose I think the pink color will look really cute. So I'm taking a finer needle and getting the shape right. I've used a merino top for the pink color. Some more gray color just below the eyes. I want it to look better somehow. the head done, I'm moving on to make two ears, taking some grey wool, it really equals ones of them and folded them into a triangle because caps are pointy ears so they're easy to make. You can flatten them down using an iron if you want. I'm just felting it with a very fine needle getting the 
is straight and to add a little pink fluff to the insides of the ear and you have to felt it really lightly so it doesn't come out from the other side so using a very fine needle just taking a little fluff of pink color and I've lightly felted it down so it does, it does get attached but it doesn't come out from the other end you don't have to go too deep otherwise it will come out from the other side rub it in your palms and it gets flatter now I'm attaching the ears to the head just folded them from the bottom them down even the extra I'm going to hold it around the head because it's going to be covered with fur at the end now I'm using the white top I've got New Zealand white top it's really white and it's soft and I use it for the top coat and the fur it's really good so I'm giving the top coat to the legs now Making little white paws into strands of grey trying to make the lines of the paws so they have done them I'm covering the legs with grey wool you can have white legs if you want I'm just covering them with it, the grey The last cat I made, I did this right at the end, and, <clears throat> and that's not really easy after you've attached the fur, so you have to do the legs first. It does, like, you can do it, but it's better this way. This is the top again, the New Zealand white top. Covering the tummy with it so it does have a fluffy tummy. Getting some grey on the tail as well. And melting it down. I rolled it between my palms. Now I have to attach the head to the body. But before that, a little mouth that was missing just a little bit of wool and I'm shaping it as I'm attaching it I've taken some wool and wrapped it around the head just like a scarf and filting it down to secure it to the body. 
because I didn't have any fluff at the edge of the head I took a little wool and wrapped it around the neck So now the cat is ready, you can give it a grey colour if you want, if you don't want to attach fur to it, it's fine, you can just give it colour, but I'm going to attach some fur, cut little pieces, and I don't want to waste too much, and the cat is really small, so I've just cut pieces of wool, the tops that come in one direction, and I'm felting them down right from the center, felting it down, sorry, folding it then, felting it again. So the first part you just felt right down the middle, then you fold it down and just to make it secure, needle it down again. So this is the way I'm going to attach the fur. You can go in lines so it looks neat. And if you want a lot of fur, you can just make the lines closer together. And if you want longer fur, you can just leave gaps. Attaching fur is fairly easy, but it takes a lot of time. So this side is done now. Moving on to the other side. I'm moving in lines and trying to keep a balance. So this side I've trimmed and the other side is still long. And attaching for right close to the neck. And now moving on to the center, I've taken the fur and I'm putting it across the body because the right center is what's missing the fur. And I'm doing it uh, like vertical. So I've got a line in the middle and fur going with both sides. Now I've taken some white and attaching to the front so it's like the mane of the cat. I'm attaching more fur to the head, the smaller pieces in the same way. So you place some fur and you need to fold it down right in the center in the straight line fold it over and fold it again so this way you need to secure it 
then we're going to give it a trim cat looks like troll right now it's gonna get better after we give it a good trimming You have to take care of the direction where the fur is going to be going so for the head it has to go to the back like the sides of this going down the head is going back and now for the front of the face it has to face backwards and the cats have smaller fur on the faces it's longer when it goes back making a white stripe putting white color to the front it's gonna go right to the nose On the sides of the eyes and as you can see over here the direction of the fur changes and it goes according to the shape of the face so it has to face backwards Oh, it's taking a bit longer but I wanted to show you the whole process because the attaching fur to the head is the most important part and it should be covered in the video so you see going with the shape of the head and covering the white parts the core will buzz as you can see she's all done and I need to trim it the trimming part is a bit intimidating to know I'm gonna trim too much too less so I'm just going in bits and just to give it a natural look you have to keep the scissors straight like into the fur using a little eyebrow brush to brush off the extra fur and to give it shape If the fur is a bit shorter right in the front cutting a bit more off the back can remain long I still feel that there's too much on the head I'm just combing it down
extra fluff of the body felt that it needed a bit of fur over here right above the eyes see how the look changes of the cat doesn't look that scary anymore <laughs> Using my needle lightly, just felting her a bit down from the head because it's really standing out and losing the shape of the head. Just felted it a bit down very lightly. So now we cover the tail, same way. You can add stripes. So just going across. Put a stripe in the middle. One piece of felted uh, right in the middle, vertically, and then put a little piece horizontal just to cover it. So the world is put horizontally but felted vertically and then a piece is felted down horizontally as you can see the end sticking out. So now we've got a bushy tail just to cover the back putting some grey colour on it. Here you can see it's all done and I hope you liked it. Try and make a cat of your own. Thank you very much for watching and do like and subscribe to my channel and help me grow. Thank you.